I hunted for shiny Pokemon and Pokemon Scarlet using 100 Academy Specials, and I have to say, this was some of the most fun I've ever had shiny hunting. As you can imagine, this resulted in quite a few shinies, so stay tuned to see what all I caught and exactly how many we find. For those that aren't aware, the Indigo Disc DLC introduced us to the new BP currency, and through this system you are able to purchase an Academy Special for 150 BP. This gives you a 30 minute level 1 shiny boost, as opposed to the level 3 boost from a sparkling sandwich, which when paired with the shiny charm brings the odds to about 1 in 1024. This boost also differs from the sandwiches by applying the boost to all types as opposed to a specific single type. So with this challenge underway, I gathered my 15,000 BP and made my way to the cafeteria to order my first Academy Special. Which was immediately a dud. Not the greatest start to a challenge run, but I wasn't going to be stopped by such a minor bump in my quest to collect these differently colored pocket monsters. Going into this challenge, I had a couple of Pokemon I thought I would like to look for, and that list increased as I kept remembering all the Pokemon I could come across. Because again, all of them have boosted shiny odds now. One of my targets was Hisuian Quillfish, and what do you know, that happened to be our first shiny. Oh! Let's go! You are not supposed to be uh, on the land, I don't think, but... Still not quite certain about how many shinies I'd make away with at the end of 100 specials, I kind of targeted the next encounter in Galarian Slowpoke, as you can pretty much isolate hunt it on the beach area behind Lacey's battle spot. Haha, oh. <laughs> there you are. I almost despawned you. Nice and yellow. Despite claiming the shiny, I felt like I didn't want to use isolation methods too much during this event, just to keep the randomness factor around for the most part. I did also have shinies during this that were a part of an outbreak, but I assure you, I did not knock anything out from the outbreak to increase the odds any higher. Anyways, there's a lot more shinies to get through, so here's a quick compilation of the other shinies I found on the first day. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I almost didn't notice that. Oh, there's a Magmar. Oh, shoot. Is that a shiny? Yep. Oh, wow, it looks pretty cool. Alright, we oh, are back. Alright, first thing, there's a Rhyhorn. I love this area. Let's just check. Yeah, that's a shiny mining. Alright. Oh, nice. For the whole run. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Whoa, that's crazy. Is a shiny dawn fan. Oh shoot! I was not expecting that. Holy! Well, my odds. Uh, I'm seeing like going into day two. The first two shinies were one of the first instances of nearly back-to-back -back encounters. Oh, of, there we go. A retail. We got a shiny Pro Gunk. Freaky. Let's go. Another day, another victory for the ODs. Try again. There we go. 
going. Sick. Maybe I should have just gone with a quick ball. I thought its evolution was more yellow than that, but it's still just the accents of it. I gotta say, getting back-to-back -back shinies is always a pretty awesome feeling, but even better when that is when you come across a special one-in-a-lifetime encounter. A shiny that is so grand in stature that you have to catch it at all costs. Without further delay, here is that grand encounter. Let's go! The littlest fella. And he's got a mark. He'll be our first mark shiny for this challenge. Let's go. You'll love to see it. All jokes aside, I do love Wooper. I mean, who doesn't? Anyways, meet Parthenax, the destroyer. I mean, the easily flustered. So far, some really great shinies, and almost half of them were ones I didn't have yet, making for a very solid start. And the good shinies kept coming with the next few from day two. Oh, pfft. Let's go! Man, that shiny is so clean! There we go. Alright, good. I thought this one was going to be a bit of a doozy. Oh! I was not paying attention and that was slightly not noticeable. There we go. Wait, oh, that's a Diglett, though. That's not a Mudkip, but that is a shiny Diglett. Just trying to hide behind the torch. After we get this shiny Scraggy. Still yellow. Yeah. This hunt has been going surprisingly well up to this point. Great shiny finds, I'm finding more encounters than I anticipated, and you can probably tell that I'm going somewhere with this. And where I'm going is that this is where the challenge hits its first real speed bump, in the fact that I kind of failed a shiny. Oh, there's a Capsa kid. Tiny little guy. His little mouth glows when he attacks. Oh no, the- I didn't save before that one. Dude, how am I doing this twice? Oh my word, I'm so dumb. Alright, well, uh, that's just an actual straight up shiny fail. There you go. For those of you that watched my video on shiny hunting every outbreak in one day, you will remember that the desert zone is not my friend. I really don't know why I even feel the need to false swipe these encounters when they're so low level and should be very easy to catch. Failing a shiny isn't a great feeling in general, but when it's due to your own lack of awareness, it kinda gets to you a bit more. But I didn't want to let it get me down too much. So with this tragic loss weighing heavy on my mind, I was determined to reclaim this shiny. Even if it didn't happen during this endeavor of using 100 Academy Specials, I was going to get another shiny Capsa Kid. I continued with my boost to try and reclaim, but only wound up with a Cacnea encounter before the boost wore off. Now, while I was performing this challenge, I generally rotated each map around to add a little variety to my encounters. So, to give myself time to move on, I decided to continue my map rotation as normal, with every visit back to Paldea being spent in the desert until I reclaimed the fallen Capsicid.
Still feeling the sting of defeat a little, I was quickly rejuvenated by some of the other encounters I was able to get in between my search for another Capsicid, including this Rhyhorn encounter I got immediately after refreshing my boost. Let's get it. Some catching up to do. All right, right out the gate. <laughs> hey, Swaddle. All right, don't run away too far now, buddy. Yeah, that for sure is a shiny. Yeah! Oh yeah! Esper! Let's go! Tiny Esper. Oh hey, what's up, Spinarak? Oh, that is a shiny Fomantis. After we battle this Applin. That I could not see. You're not shiny, Applin. Get out of the way. Alright. And now it's time to head back to the desert again to try for this Capsicid. Hopefully I don't phase too much for this reclaim. Capsicid, let's go! We did it! And I'm saving the game! Redemption! Let's go! Despite the odds, I actually managed to reclaim the shiny on my first return to the area, which was a huge relief. I really didn't want to spend all of my time hunting for this, but that's what I was ready to do. I ended up naming her G-Pep, as in Ghost Pepper, to honor her fallen sibling and to make sure I would never forget. As an added measure to make sure I don't forget, G-Pep came with the Sand Swept mark, which you can only receive when the Pokemon appears during a sandstorm. I've been having some pretty crazy luck so far, and if you guys have enjoyed and want to keep up with just how lucky I can be, then please consider liking and subscribing, as I intend to keep doing more shiny hunts and other Pokemon content on this channel. I also livestream these challenges, so if you want to see what I'm currently hunting, you can stop by at twitch.tv slash zionsnz7. I'd love to chat with you, so feel free to come hang out sometime. I just rolled out some new emotes and have more on the way, but enough of that. Let's get back to the shinies. Now, even though it's part of the Paldea map, I decided to make a visit to Area Zero every quarter of the way through the challenge, just as an incentive to spend some time there, but not too much since it's a fairly limited space with not as many potential encounters. Anyways, that's all to say, this is special number 25's encounters. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's a shiny Gabite. I'm pretty sure. Let's find out. That would be correct. Eh, we'll just do a dusk ball. That'll be fine. Boom. I'm gonna be like, no, they're kinda small. It's smaller than it looks like it should be. Dawn fan's kind of small. Oh, hey, what's up? Shiny Screamtail. I'll use one drip ball. One. Yeah. 
I've been shiny hunting for a few years at this point, so there are obviously some risks of duplicates when boosting the rates of every Pokemon, including the ones you already have, but I thought this clip in particular was too well timed to not include in its entirety. That's spawning over here. Scyther and Execute. Don't need Shiny Execute. Have both Shiny Executors. There's a Shiny Execute anyways. <laughs> this one's marked though. So that's pretty cool. Uh, ask f not for and you shall receive anyways. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright. And here are a few other shiny encounters in compilation form. Like your rush Oh hey! That what? is a haunch crow. Ooh, we found one? We did find one. Wow. Catch it. Which TV Zion Zin Z7 boys, you found one? Mm. Do, 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 We're do, on do. the board. Shiny Fluffy! Shiny Fluffy! I was wondering yeah, if I was gonna find one of these things. I was I, I looked at it and I was like, huh, that Fluffy looks a little uh, more pinkish. Oh! Hello, Murkrow. There we go. Oh, well, there's a deerling. That's something. There is a shiny, let's go, and it's not in the grass, it's in the water. Hi there, little choodle. Swimming on into me. Just telling him to ram his head into the wall, I guess. Hey, there's a shiny diglet again. Alright. Bump us up one more. Get us to 44. Yes, sir. There is 44. We got a Tepig across the way. Let's go. Oh. oh, hey, that is a shiny trap inch. from one trap inch encounter to another. Now these next clips were possibly one of the craziest moments from the challenge because these encounters all happened within less than five minutes of each other. Oh, that is a shiny kilowattrel. Just landed on down right in front of us. I'll speed this up so this goes a little bit faster. Join a good old relaxing Sunday, so I decided it was time to stream. And you're just in time for a shiny bronzong. Hey Aurora, you're just in time too, I guess. 
congratulations on your shinies too. I saw you posted those few in the in the Discord. Especially the Sinistee. Definitely a, a hard one to spot. So congrats on that. And the Volbeat too. I'm very jealous. Still gotta work on finding one of those for myself. Yeah, I know that was pretty quick together. We had I don't I don't know what that would have been like four or five minutes apart since the kilowatt roll. Oh, and there's a Snover! Oh my goodness, that's crazy. All right then. I don't know what it is about this challenge in particular, but I also managed to have several more run-ins with Pokemon being difficult or surprising me with moves that knock themselves out. But luckily, Capsa Kid had prepared me. Mostly. Remembering correctly, the Academy Special stacked with the Shiny Charm is roughly one in 10-24 odds, and there is a Shiny Grimer as well. So there we go. I've definitely had my fair share of uh, zero encounters from doing these. Oh no, it knows Memento! Oh, that's not good. Um, okay, well, luckily it missed, so it didn't knock itself out. But this is why you save before encountering things. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my Master Balls so I don't fail this. That was scary. Wait, is that a shiny Starly? Hold on. I think it is. Yeah, that definitely is, isn't it? Yep. All right. We did. We clutched it out. Last minute. Shiny Starly. Okay, well, that's why I saved before battling it. Again, how about it? Yeah, I'm just gonna try an Ultra Ball again, that's fine. That's quite alright. Oh, never mind, I stand corrected. This is why I, che I always check at the last second. Almost walked away from that one, too. I think I am going to need to be very cautious with this since it's thrashing. Oh, yep, it's confused now. Uh, I'm gonna play this a little bit more safe real quick, because I don't think I saved. Don't run off too far, Dodrio. Come back. This thing does not want to stay in the ball. <coughs> Alright, uh, let's just try and... You know what? I think I'll go ahead and use it for the culture. I will try a safari ball. If it knocks itself out, I'm not even losing a boost. No, it really just does not want to be captured right now. And it hit itself in confusion. Them for his shinies. Alright, 
let's try this again. Being extremely stubborn. There we go. Alright. Is that a shiny Mankey? It is! Okay, it wasn't letting me hit it there for a second. Or buried across the state, so it's... It's not for no reason. Alright then, well, I guess, uh... what I get for trying to catch it in a different kind of Pokeball, though. Could have just thrown an Ultra Ball and caught it like this. See? Let's watch. See? Just like that. Shiny Orthworm! Gotta get him to peekaboo his head back out, though. This might take me a second. She is marked as well. Oh, and it has takedown. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Take down this time, please. I saw the word down and I got a little nervous. There we go. In case you missed it, I didn't quite remember to save for that Grimer clip, and I got lucky that my Latios avoided its memento attempt, so I resorted to another Master Ball. I promise, I've learned since then, and I always save, so this is my PSA to you to always, always save before encountering a Shiny. Now there have been a lot of great Shiny finds, and I want to show them all off, but don't want this video to be too long, so get ready for the Shiny Encounter Blitz. Got a marked Shiny Charger Bug. favorite color ever. But you for... This... Academy... That's a vibe. I wanted to save the best for last, so I have a couple more clips to show you of some of my favorite encounters remaining, but before we get to that, I had to show off a few more shinies that I lost the footage for, so here they are. And finally, here are some of my favorite encounters I got during this challenge, either because they were just less common Pokemon, or they were Pokemon I was really, really hoping to find. Oh shoot, that's a shiny Mianfu. That thing just spawned right in front of me. Alright. 
is a cool shiny. Go for a good old Dusk Ball. Alright, alright. Oh! There's a shiny Rotom! Let's go! That's awesome! I had completely forgotten that its uh, electricity changed colors. Well, now I gotta think about what I wanna catch it in. Hmm. That's hard. I mean, I'd want to do a fast ball, but I only have two of them. A luxury ball would probably be cool, too. I'll give that a shot. We'll try one. To start. Luxury ball it is! There we go. It is a shiny! Let's go! Shiny Poliwag! Hooray! This is a dive ball for sure. Is that a shiny Bramblegast? Oh my word, it is! I didn't even really know that those things spawned in the overworld. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a shiny Tatsugiri! That's the form that I don't have, too! Alright! Sweet! Alright, I gotta hope that this thing doesn't memento. I have kinda forgot that it has that. Alright, we're good. It caught it. We're good. Awesome, awesome. Oh my goodness, that's a shiny two cannon. And she's female. Two cannon technically counts as a couple of the colors of the rainbow. Go for... Try a Great Ball first. Yeah, it's got the back half right on its beak. Doesn't want the Great Ball. Oh, well, we're gonna be here for a while, maybe. Okay, two hits. Good. We love to see that. <coughs> Can we try a Dusk Ball? Purplish effect. There we go. I was looking for Picky Peck, but I'll definitely take two cannon. Oh, that's actually a shiny Oracorio! Let's go! I wasn't even paying attention. Sweet! Alright, we got one of the targets.
That is shiny number 100 as well. That's awesome. It's got to stay in one of these. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, that's a shiny fracture. That looks so clean. Dude, what an awesome shiny. Team for the move set. All right, we're good. One on the board already. So, in conclusion, after 100 Academy specials, we ended up with 108 shinies, of which 17 were marked. And those Pokemon are Parthenax, the easily flustered, G Pep, the sand swept. Pillow and Sparky, the Sleepy, Crash Fist, the Thunderstruck, Goldeen, the Worn Out, Dreamweaver, the Daydreamer, Sky, the Cloud Watcher, and Dimple, Tudor, Scramble, Moss Maw, Tyler, Angie, Picharu, Wormella, and Cherry Bomb, the Sociable. And unsurprisingly, we had some duplicates with three Rhyhorns, three Swablus, and three Squovits, and two Espers, two Bergmites, two Alolan Diglets, two Mankeys, two Trapinch, two Tepigs, two Poliwags, two Magnemites, two Pyroars, two Scraggies, two Choodles, two Brute Bonnets, and technically two Capsicids. It still hurts, but honestly, I'm still very glad we got this redemption. Overall, this hunt was a lot of fun, and I highly recommend it to anyone that just wants to have fun shiny hunting. Maybe not a hundred of them in a row, but certainly a few here and there, just to challenge your ability to spot a shiny, and not knowing what will appear on your screen, or when instead of just anticipating that one specific Pokemon you're targeting. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by subscribing, liking the video, and leaving a comment on what your favorite moment was. If you guys like this, be sure to let me know, and I might consider doing something like this again in the future. But I do have lots of other videos planned, so stay tuned for more. And always remember, tomorrow's another bright, shiny day.